daughter of millions of Christians and Jews who come to know the Lord. He will lead the armies of the world into Israel. A second beast will rise, and the coming Antichrist will have a religious partner. Revelation 13, 11, and 12. Then I saw another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and spoke like a dragon, and he exercises all of his authority of the first beast, the Antichrist, in his presence, and causes the earth and those who dwell in it to worship the first beast, the Antichrist, whose deadly head wound, wound was healed. The coming of the Antichrist will not be alone. Another man, also empowered by Satan, will rule with the Antichrist. The powerful religious leader, or beast, as God sees him, will rise to power with the Antichrist. In this prophecy, God reveals some important information and, det and details concerning this religious man of power. Two horns like a lamb tell us he will emerge with Christian credentials or doctrine, but spoke like a dragon tells us he will be controlled and directed by Satan. There are hints this man might even have Jewish blood. This person, along with the religious system he will lead, is referred to as the woman who rides the beast in the book of Revelation. This evil, bloodthirsty, one-world religion appears to rise out of Rome. He was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. This religious leader will create some sort of an image representing the Antichrist. All those who refuse to worship it will be executed. <clears throat> it may be something very miraculous, or it may be 2,000-year-old vocabulary trying to describe some future technology such as robotics, animatronics, or virtual reality. The Mark of the Beast. He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on the right hand or on your foreheads, and that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. From Revelation 13, 16, and 17. This prophecy is very crucial for those who have not accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and will be alive when this law is enacted in force. The mark may be some kind of tattoo or implanted microchip we fall off your credit card and banking information. We really don't know right now. It will not be easy to refuse this mark, whatever it is, for many of you will have families and children that will need to be fed. But please be warned, by taking this mark, you will have sealed your eternal fate in hell. In God's eyes, it identifies you with the Antichrist. There will be no turning back for any who take the mark, the name of the beast or the number of his name, the other darkness, loneliness, and torments of hell will be their fate. Blessings are promised in heaven to all those who refuse to take the mark and refuse to bow down to this coming world leader and die in their faith for doing so. The Lord will take the sting out of death. An enigma, 666. He is wisdom. Let him, he who has understanding, calculate the number of the beast. For it is the number of man, his number is 666, Revelation 13, 18. Well, that sounds pretty bad, huh? But there is hope for us. The Antichrist and the false prophet will be destroyed at the second coming by Jesus and cast into the lake of fire, 2 Philippians 2, 8, Revelation 19, 10. So in closing today, what should we do about all this? One, Except, the Bi except that the Bible speaks about an Antichrist and a spirit of Antichrist that is active now. Two, seek God's grace, identify this Antichrist spirit. We need to be careful in the past. People have thought they have identified the Antichrist, but must have been wrong. <coughs> it is best seek to identify an Antichristian spirit. The characteristics are clearly set out for us. 
three, pray not to be deceived about this. The mark of the Antichrist is that he deceives many. Take great care then over this. Four, pray to the delivered from an anti-Christian spirit in yourself. From, re from rebellious pride, all taint of evil. Five, rejoice that the Antichrist will be defeated. He cannot survive. And lastly, prepare for Christ's return by, rep by repenting from sin and trusting only in Christ and rejecting all others. And now for our benediction for today, Pastor Jessica, and then for us here in the sanctuary, we'll be doing communion. With what benediction shall I leave you? This, in, in our life, may you know the holy meaning, the mystery that breaks into every moment. May you live at peace with your world and at peace with yourself. And may the love of truth guide you in every day. Amen. <coughs>